Okay, today we're going to be playing Not Only Nine, demo that I found on Steam. You know the drill. Let's get into it. I don't know why it says continue. I played it before. Here we go. Soul Detective. Initializing Soul Cosmos level. My Blondie. Valor level one, despair level one, ambition level one, space time level one. Soul frame instantiated, display soul frame controls. Sure. Move is Wazda, run, hold, shift, interact, spacebar, camera, mouse, and move one through three. Simple. Okay. Welcome to the afterlife till all complete. Hello, Blondies. That's why I downloaded this, because I'm a kitty. You've fallen, haven't you? Golly, that's just too bad. Well, hey, uh, first human soul in 999,999,999 years, <coughs> 99 days, 9 hours, and 2 minutes. Aren't I awesome at counting? Perks of being the light. You know, like, oh me, oh my, don't walk towards the light, that'd be me. I'm not scary though, you can call me Todd. Hey, wanna see something cool? Go walk over there towards that light. Are you really playing with a jingle ball in here? Aha, uh -huh, it's me. I was the cool thing all along. Or she would have thought. Yeah, this is what I look like. Ain't I cute? Not as cute as me. Anywho, let's see if you're worthy. Choose wisely, you only exist once. Ooh, it's a cool ass sword. Oh, that's a cool sword too. So darkness probably, fire and ice. Um, I'm gonna go ice. The Valor Sword. Steadfastness to protect your friends, cradle the universe, and calm stasis. Choose to wield Valor. Let's check if it's gonna let us check. I didn't know if it would. The Ambition Sword. Courage to continue. Somehow the universe smiles upon you. Do you choose to wield ambition? That looks like demonic, but okay, we'll call it ambition. The Despair Sword. Power to birth stars, chaos of the universe made manifest. Do you choose to wield despair? Good idea, better be well informed. Go ahead, make your choice now. Todd. Uh, that one doesn't look as cool. This one looks the coolest. Choose ice. Light cosmos levels have been increased. Now, what do you give up in exchange? levels have been reduced. Cosmos instantiated. This is beautiful. It's probably really simple, but it's, it's beautiful nonetheless. Well, well, well. A fellow wielder of valor. We're going to get along just fine. This endless cycle of life and death. Who would want that? Anyway, please enjoy your shiny, old Cosmos sword. Hey, you don't remember how you felt, do you? Close your eyes. System. Run. Memory sequence one.
you wake up. Ball out of here. There. Snow piles on the windowsill outside your bedroom. You jump out of bed, hoping for school to be closed today. Suddenly, the clanking of pots and pans erupts from downstairs. That's to get the noise. Morning, Lukester. Your dad is covered in pancake mix. The, uh, pancakes didn't make it. He poses with the burnt mess on the plate. Dad always makes goofy mistakes like that. Aw, oh, heck, it's a snow day after all. What do you want instead? Clearly, that's fine. It really is boring. Here, I've got bacon. Well, that wasn't one of the options, man. Dad runs over to the fridge laughing maniacally as he reaches for the bacon. You work on the maze puzzle on the back of the cereal box. Dad hums while you work until suddenly the humming stops. table jolts to the side. Dad is sprawled out on the floor, blood dripping from his head. Shake Dad's shoulder. He won't move. You sprint towards the phone on the living room wall. 911, what is your emergency? You can barely make out the words. Tell them Dad fell. Don't worry, we can help your dad. First, what is your address, sweetie? You feel the phone being lifted out of your hand. Hello, ma'am. Sorry for the trouble. We are all right here. Thank you. Dad kneels down and pats your head. Hey, Lugster. I'm sorry I scared you, sport. Dad explains you just got a little dizzy. You believe him. Come on, let's finally have that breakfast. Fishy as hell. You both enjoy your cereal and bacon together. Dad walks over to the window, peering out over the snowy landscape. You know what we should do today? Super sledding. As you frantically get your snow gear together, Dad wraps a bland, brand new scarf around your neck. Brand new blue scarf around your neck. The scarf has special powers, you know. Now you're super loopster. Pull the scarf up over your nose. It makes you look cool. Now we match. Dad explains, wrapping a red scarf around his neck and posing like a superhero. You think Dad looks cool too? Nine years later, and now your salutatorium. Principal calls your name up to the podium. Everyone is cheering for you. As you walk up, you trip on the stairs. Nobody stops cheering. They know you always do goofy things like that. You start your speech that Dad helped you practice, but you stutter and lose your place. He's not in the front row. Actually, he's not there at all. Close your eyes and try to remember what Dad taught. Luke, this world can be cruel. Sometimes all hope may, be, may seem lost. And yet, you can choose to continue. The universe wasn't made for us to understand it, but while we're here, we can make a ride up. Don't let a wall stop you. Despite how afraid you may be, it's weak compared to you. Smash right through. Break it down. Choose to continue. You open your eyes, but the nervousness sets in all over again. Choose to continue. Graduation caps shoot up into the raining sky. Today was a good day, but you can't help but worry why Dad wasn't there to see it. Um, Holly's faster. Phone rings and rings. No answer. You slump down on the stairs. Sirens blare in the distance. Ambulance and police cars that pass your school. You see smoke in the sky towards your house, or you know it, you're sprinting after them. Car is on fire, crushed in on itself and curled around a tree. Skid marks swerve along the empty road. It's the same color as Dad's car. Paramedics are pulling a body out of the fire. Police officer grabs you, trying to keep you at a distance from the car. You manage to break free and reach the stretcher. The corpse is unrecognizable. 
The police officer finally drags you away, but your eyes never leave the body. The body's arm falls to the side and your eyes drown in tears. The charred red scarf falls to the ground. Everything goes black and you fall. Nine days later. Luke, would you like to say a few words? Priest gestures toward you. Everyone is silent for you. As you walk up, you trip on your shoelaces. He makes goofy mistakes just like his dad, you hear someone quietly reflect. Touching your blue scarf to your chest, you start to speak, but you choke on the words. Everything you want to say washes through your mind. He was the best dad. I love him so much. I miss his goofy laugh. I miss eating cereal and bacon with him. He taught me courage. Because of him and me. Why did he have to leave me? Dad. How can I continue without you? Tears stream down your face. Breathing is a next to impossible task. Look for Dad in the front row. You see Loon. A white kitten sitting on the grass in the front row. You don't recall how you know her name. Loon walks up to you, purring. You pick her up. Give Loon your blue scarf. Loon snuggles into the scarf, purring in your arms. Looking out over the crowd, you suddenly don't feel so afraid anymore. You take a deep breath, just like Dad taught you. Choose to continue. Almost made me cry. <laughs> wow, what a tragic origin story. Couldn't have made it worse myself. Wait, something is wrong here. Close your eyes once again, with conviction. Run memory sequence two. Initialize memory sequence. Golly, I never get tired of star starting these. Wow, you look so happy with her. Life is precious. It seems you appreciated what you had. Let's look a little further ahead. <coughs> Could this be where it happens? Seems like the kind of place where it would. Sorry. Remembering painful moments with a smile. That's something I know how to do well. Still, it wasn't all bad, was it? Interesting that your soul took on the form of your cat, Loon. Usually, how you view yourself influences your soul's form. But it doesn't match up. Unless... And here's the star of the show. The Reapers, created by Death himself. The Wielders of Despair. Eric enemies, if you ask me. Yet they are rather efficient. How unfortunate that in life you had no cosmos to wield. This is your end. Tell me, do you fear death? Or do you have the resolve to persist? Wait. You're not Luke? You're a cat. This changes everything. System run force quit. Sounded like dot dot dot. You think you can fool me? Oh, Todd got serious. Oh well. The wrong soul fell. Your human, Luke, was supposed to be the one. But he can yet be saved. And I'll help, of course. Follow me. I don't know if I like Todd. Todd seems like a dick. In the center of the afterlife, there exists the tower. With my power, we can use the tower to heal Luke and return you to him. I make it sound so easy. It's not. 
Those pesky reapers aren't going to let you reach the tower. That and their power is required to operate it too. I have an idea. This isn't an easy thing for me to ask. You accept me and let my soul in. And I lend you my power. Power to defeat the reapers. That's one. We can finally put an end to this meaningless cycle. You'll be able to save Luke and I. Precious life will be lost no more. So, wielder of valor, do you accept my power? Last, Mr. Run, Merge Soul. Soul Cosmos Levels Optimizer. Valor Level 101, Despair Level 97, Ambition Level 99, Space Time Level 99. New Designation, whatever the hell that says. Merge Soul Complete. Music is really loud. Ooh, pretty. Forest glows with countless souls. You're reminded of the void between you and Luke, and yet you continue. Trail save. That's nice. Saving isn't implemented though. Okay. You just follow the path again. It's Or you. Pilgrimage that all living things must trek. You know, at the end of all things, I'm quite scared. But somehow, I'm excited too. See you there. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, a little tattle. Me, George. Me, monkey. Cool. Hoot What have we here? Brand new soul to the afterlife. Would you like me to give a long-winded explanation about the afterlife? Followed by prompting if you understood me with no as the first choice. No, quick version, please. Understood. I should undoubtedly recount this final information post-haste. You may certainly hold me to a high-quality standard, new soul. Where you stand now is known as Orion Forest, the entry point of the afterlife. All souls who enter, whom enter, are greeted by yours truly. It is my pride and purpose to guide weary souls from their previous existence to this one. I'm not sure this is just the most splendid first impression of the afterlife. By the way, after this introductory lesson, please answer a quick survey about your experience. Anywho, you may be wondering how this all came to be. This is most assuredly the key question. You see, the first human to die became death. With his newfound powers over cosmos, death created the afterlife, a place for souls to exist eternally. Death and his reapers shepherded countless souls into his afterlife, and for some reason, souls take on the form of animals here. Your form does indeed reflect how you view yourself, and I am rather intelligent. So an owl it is. Mm -hmm. <coughs> How strange, your soul doesn't seem to match up with your form, much like another I've met once before. While you're here, you have all the time in the universe to explore, look deep inside yourself, and figure out what makes you complete. Then we may all celebrate together. I trust you understood all of that, as was previously stipulated. Would you like to hear it one more time? Please release me. Certainly. Remember to check in with George to do our survey. What's that? You wish to venture towards the tower? I hesitate to recommend visiting the tower, but if you truly wish to, talk with Ursa. This house is high up. Enjoy the afterlife till all complete. Okay. I can't escape or anything, dude. I've never had a game do that. Companion Bucket, the friendliest of buckets. Uh, funny portal reference. Me, George, me, have survey. Me wrote down in case me forgot. Forgetting is George's secret power. But George can't read. You do, I watch. Question, what are you? 
Hmm. Yeah, we'll answer quickly. Do you harbor any regrets from your past life? Hmm. The full life. Are you interested in becoming complete? Opinion on immortality. Wish to persist forever. Would you be willing to become a reaper? No. As a splat background music major transition more pleasant. It is a bop. Oh, can we get all of it? Would you rather leave the afterlife now and accept oblivion? Choose to continue. Thank you for taking our survey. Please enjoy your stay till all complete. George Happy, have fun. Music calm down. Wait a board is full of warm welcomes and wishes from past visitors. One note catches your eye. Is the universe friendly? In my vast experience, no, but at the same time, it is. The fact that the universe is comprehensible is a miracle. We shouldn't let that go to waste. Actually, do souls need to drink water? I hope so. Water is yummy. Yeah, it's all right. A rhino. I was told to guard this door, so that's what I'm gonna do. Even when the universe dies, he will remain. If you focus hard enough, you can manipulate Cosmos into whatever you want. I've been working all my brain cells on this for years, and I finally have my dream gaming set up. You cry. There's all the time in the universe to play my favorite games. Now if I can only figure out multiplayer. Well, I'll complete. Fair enough. Ursa is so cool, no wonder he lives so high up. Maybe one day I'll be as cool as him. Probably not. Where's the tower? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this before. Did you think you would trigger a random battle in Tall Grass? We don't need to battle anything, I'm already max level. There aren't any enemies, here at least. Those weak reapers don't stand a chance against us. Also, you can sprint using shift, in case you haven't tried. I did. I was sh I was shifting in the process when you interrupted me. This isn't Pokemon, I'm guessing that's Ursa, because Ursa means bear in Greek. Hey, kiddo! The name's Ursa. Welcome to my humble abode. Could have been no. No. Why? Do you have some? Aww. I can have just a small snack roll. We don't need to tell my personal trainer. You're looking for the tower? Music's aggressive. Gee, I don't think you should go there, kiddo. Not alone, anyway. That's right, I'm coming with you. Before we go on a grand adventure, can you grab my video camera for me? I've in my house, but I can't remember where. I would be on a mess without my wife around. She'd leave notes around the house reminding me of important things. Maybe I should get another Echo book. I don't know what that is, my guy. I still don't see a tower. See that shiny thing over there? Oh, that's smoke. Video camera. What's that? It's a model of the tower. Trace levels of valor found emanating from it. There's the camera. How did you not find that, bro? This book's title reads, How to Act for Actors. 
These Echo Books appear to belong to four different souls. Every single one is at full capacity. Yeah, I already said that. A withered bow is placed gently against the wall. Next to the bow lies a yellow note. Oh, take this, my vengeance, my life, and my dream. With this bow, touch the sky. I don't know why, but I just squirmed a little. I don't know if that's a reference to anything. Dash of empty honey pots under the table. VHS camcorder. For some reason, you're intimately familiar with this exact model. Seems like the one Ursa was talking about. Let's grab it for the dumb old bear. That's not nice. You got the VHS camcorder, but it doesn't have any tape. Uh, does that mean I need a tape? Because uh, I don't see a tape. There's no tape. Holy smokes, way to go, kiddo. Where on earth was it? Oh, silly me. We're not on Earth. My girls would make such fun movies with this thing, starring their mother and me, of course. And I was a great actor. They laughed at everything I did. Anyway, there's a reason we need that camera. Let's head over to Orion Village. Just follow the path past my gate. They've got such beautiful orange trees there. Fine, if we must. Ursa joins your party. his house. This is just... What is that? These stones are emanating cosmos at a low frequency. 200 quadrillion amplification required to be so audible. I want to see this tree. That's pretty. Pretty trees, pretty flowers. Okay, so there is a border. Okay. I just wanted to check. Still can't see the tower. I see a village way down over there. Right there, but no tower. I'll see if I can find my way back. Oh, that's a wall. Oh, that's a wall. That's his house. Should be right there. Can I swim? Nope. What's that? Village's souls are full of hope and joy. Your soul yearns to experience such completion, and yet you continue. This is Sally. This is Ursa. This is Todd. This village, isn't the background music so peaceful? It's a little loud, honestly. We're here to meet my girl's old friend. She still hasn't come up to fleet, and I'd like to help her out. And I forgot where she lives. There's just so many places to be. Will you help me find her house, kiddo? I remember there were rocks outside our house. It's big. Have you seen the gazebo outside of town? Somebody tends to the flowers there every week. I've been here for many ages and not once have I seen it empty. Three. Also heard of white flowers growing somewhere high up. Maybe I'll try to find them one day. The 
only complaint I have so far is, well, there's two. Music, and I wish the indicator to show you to talk to something was a different color. Bunches of echo books line the walls. Ha, huh, pitiful. Everyone seems to use these things. I'm the oldest one here and I remember everything just fine. Sometimes I remember a little too well. Yeah, I don't know if I'm a fan of Todd, honestly. Fish. So much. Stationary. This is dangerous. I can send my friends so many cute letters. Oh, it's you. Wow, long time no see. I made something to show you, in case I ever saw you again. I've never met you before. It's up by the white flowers. Can we go there together? Sure. Yay, just like old times. Let's go find those white flowers. They only grow really high up. Never met you. But okay, we'll go to the white flowers real quick. Do you guys know who she is? If you guys have any idea who the jellyfish is, let me know in the comments. While we're making this trip, by the way, um, yeah, I don't, I don't ask people to subscribe or like the video. If you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it, whether I say to or not. But I will ask you to comment so I can know what to provide you for experience. Here we are. Look what I made. System run instantiate memory. Did you make it? I know you're in there somewhere. Even if I can't hear you, it feels like you're here. Your stories were always filled with such wonder and beauty. I'm trying to recreate that place for you. Maybe it can grant you peace, even if only a little. Oh, is she talking to Todd? So, so I think I'll stay here for a while. Take care of her for me, will you? Oh, she knows Todd. What did she make, though, bro? Or is this what she made? It's cool either way. But yeah, comment what you like, what I did wrong, what I did right. Do you like my voice? Am I annoying? I mean, if you say I'm annoying, I really won't care because I'll keep doing this, but it's still good to know. I mean, I could talk over this if that would appease some of you. What's this way? Then it gets hard to talk in a deeper voice for the long periods of time. It's just that guy's house. <coughs> I used to listen to a lot of Josh Turner, and uh, one of my favorite songs to sing was um, Will You Go With Me? But just because of his voice, it's amazing. Welcome to Meg's Echo Bookshop. And Meg, by the way. Big books, small books, some as big as your head. What a lovely bunch of books, chirpy chirp. It's like the coconut song from The Lion King. Hey Meg, do you remember what kind of echo book my wife used to get me? As I forgot. Ursa, I miss our book, book club nights, chirpy chirp. Every echo book is an echo book. They're all the same, you silly bear. Oh, right, I forgot that too. Maybe I should have been an elephant so I could remember stuff. Assessing soul cosmos levels. Valor level? Yeah, I already love it. It just tells you your level and stuff. Okay. New carriage. Right. Astounding. What a beautiful view. Reminds me of the capital in my world. Should have seen it. Bill nonchalantly waves his right wing. I feel like we could be friends. Okay, eh.
Nothing. Safe is emanating trace amounts of ammunition. The lock mechanism indicates it will perma lock it if one failed attempt. Mm -hmm. Just say you're not allowed to get into it. There's no internet here, and I couldn't be happier. I do miss all those funny cat pictures, though. Oh, you're a cat. Could you go sit in that box for me? I suppose. Ah, uh, silly cat. If I fits, I sits. Thank you. I took a mental image from my echo book. I want to fill it up with pictures of every animal sitting in a box. That could even be my true purpose. If only I could share it with the masses. Maybe I do miss the internet. Now Toe might be able to help me with his big computers. Till all complete. I'm not going all the way back there, bro. There's rocks. That's our house. This is my first. Uh, how'd you get over here? It's a different one. I grew these flowers around town. That's a fine achievement I'll have, you know. Most things here are materialized using cosmos. I started these from the seeds themselves. There's something special about nature. What a fool. Cosmos is nature. You know, Todd, you're kind of a dick. Don't go upstairs. Oh my, my, my. I would very much like to see what's up there. Old time sake. Just got a shiver. Did you say something, kiddo? There. You son of a bitch. Stairs. This round bird. Is that a pie? That's a pie. I really wanted a big pie, so I focused my cosmos on the idea. It took a while, but then bam! Big pie. Wow. You know, leave me here. Same dude, same. And there's no controlling the camera, like zoom in wise. Like, or not lucky, but I know a little bit. What's yours in this house? My soul is bursting to create something, but I don't know what to make. We found you! Debbie, remember when you would make fun movies with my girls? Why don't you try making one again? Oh, Mr. Ursa, I dearly miss those days spent with my friends. I still see them everywhere. I'm afraid I'm not good enough. End of disrespecting their memory. Do you really think I can do it without them? Aw, oh, shucks. I miss them too. Waking up to them laughing in the garden, going on adventures, filming the most silly things. I would be so happy to see a new movie from you. It would remind me of those days again. Their souls are a part of you, just like they're a part of me. I'm sure their ambition can help you see it through. Their ambition? You're right. Even if they're gone, they're still here. I can choose to continue knowing they're with me. I'll do it, Ursa, for all of us. That's a spirit. Let's grit those teeth into a big smile. Hey kiddo, before we go to the tower, let's have a look Debbie. Important. Helping souls become complete is why we're here. Ever since death was sealed away, this is the way of things. <clears throat> I'll promise we'll head over right after. Is that alright with you, kiddo? Does he take us for fools? All this will do is delay saving Luke. What's so great about becoming complete anyway? Oh wow, is this the same camera we used to play with? You remembered, 
Pretty high tech, huh? Sure. No, not at all. Uh -huh, it sure is. I'm going to make the best movie in memory of my friends. Then maybe I can become complete and see them again. Now all I need is some inspiration. Do you know something that would be worthy? Let's take a look around town. Maybe somebody's working on a cool project. Lead the way. Debbie is not following you. She must not matter much. I can tell because System didn't put her in your party. Not today. You're gonna be like that, Tom. What about the snake's pie? Wow, kiddo, leave me out. I already said that. Project, project, project. I don't remember any of them having a project. New card. What about this shady guy in here? Something very fun. Uh, Ursa? Ursa, will you help me? I'll do what I can, Edwin. What are we doing? Uh, I knew this day would come. It's missing a piece, my prized diorama. You know of what I speak, Ursa the Guardian. What? Edwin, don't call me that in front of the kid up. Trying to be hip and cool. What do you mean, that thing? Mwahaha, yes, that thing. What is he talking about, Ursa? Go we'll get it. Come on, kid, what's up, my house? I will hold my breath until you come back. Oh my god, I have to go all the way back there. Why? Be super cool if I could fast travel. Zoomies, zoomies. this thing. Level the tower, trace level the tower. Here it is, the thing. He's embarrassed of this. Model is something to celebrate. Display it proudly, you buffoon of a bear. Oh, kiddo, did you say something? Let's go bring this back to Edwin quickly before I get too woozy. You got the tower model, it's much heavier than it looks. Oh dear, are you alright, Ursa? I'm truly disappointed. Okay. So is the white thing project maybe? Is this a project? I like that we light up bushes when we go through them. Pretty cool. Is this a project? Um, nobody was working on a project. At least I can't remember anybody working on a project. Going the wrong way. Mm. I can't remember. Just an arf arf thing. There was nothing there. You're a bookstore owner. You. What did you do? Zebo. Didn't see you, Zebo. That's a new wagon. You're the box person. Good to see you. Are you looking for some awesome wares, craftable only by the afterlife's greatest smith? To say that I even had a hand in the village's beloved statue. It's no small feat to create a Wheeler scythe, even if a replica. Who stole it? She tends to hang out in grass between Ursa's house and the villages. 
usually on some kind of pedestal. I'm just grabbing some supplies before returning to Eridanus. Check out my shop if you're ever in the area. Trying to encourage my car's wheels to turn. Here I am just trying to see some stars and boom, car broke. I just did an oil change last week too. Actually, how do we know we existed last week? Maybe the universe was created last Wednesday. I must know! Whoa. Let's leave this one to ponder on that. Have you seen Edwin's diorama? It inspired me to go on this journey and discover the universe. Diorama must be the thing that... the big project. Oh, 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 oh! You got it! We did. What must I do with it? Upstairs! Upstairs with you! You'll know where it goes. I've labored so long. Finally, a complete diorama of that fateful day. I must say, I'm giddy with excitement. It must be splendid inspiration for a wonderful movie. This is turning out to be a wonderful distraction. Pay attention. Now. At all. Don't make him... a lone reaper standing tall against an unending army of reapers. Oh, what a terrible memory. Cast all the stars in the sky where it hereafter becomes infinity. That's what death told us. He was our friend, my friend. But he lied. So many souls lost, consumed. My friends reaped one after another, used as mere fuel. Ursa. I've never seen you like this. For a time, everything was alright. Holes existed in the afterlife for eternity. Death had saved us all from oblivion. But millennia will wear on us all. Eventually, we began to feel empty. The world that continued grew faint. We began to forget who we were. A soul's mind wasn't built to retain knowledge forever. Loved ones inevitably became strangers. A belief emerged. Perhaps this was unnatural. Perhaps death's afterlife wasn't supposed to be our final resting place. Maybe we should continue on from this existence when we were ready to. So we would become complete. Once the soul achieved their true purpose and was ready to continue, a reaper would aid them into their next existence. But death refused. He wanted everyone to live forever in his creation. To persist. So there was a rebellion against death for control of the tower, the Reaper War. Enough about that. It's in the past. Death was sealed away. Now, we exist here until we are ready to continue. What a beautiful recounting of such a tragic story. A few key details were missing, though. Wow, Ursa. I didn't know much of that story. Found my inspiration. I want to make a movie about the Reaper War. All souls in the afterlife deserve to know the full story. Aw, oh, shucks. It's so embarrassing to recount those memories. Come on, Ursa. Let's grit those teeth into a big smile. I'll make you happy. Let's do it. Can we film in an Orion graveyard? I think that will depict this tragic story best. Gee, are you sure you want to go there? It's pretty scary. Who am I to question the direction of an artist? Let's go. The way to Orion graveyard is past Orion Village. Couldn't be happier. You guys going to a writing graveyard? I want to go too. No. Weirdo. Um, I kind of want to go look for that little girl with the sights on a pedestal. That's what he said, right? I didn't see you either. 
Poa, Poa, nice to meet you on the metal parrot. Poa, I need to shred, it's in my bones. If only I had my guitar. Sucks to be you, bro. No, I'm not going back there. It was a graveyard. Hey, that fish moved his cart. How convenient. Well, it is a gazebo. Gazebos abound with the beautiful flowers, each place with great care. I used to come here with my wife. Eons of wonderful memories are etched into this wood. Do you have someone special you'd like to take here too? I wonder if we'll meet his dad. Luke's dad, I mean. I'm on my way to see the stars. Universe, here I come. Your secrets will be mine. It seems fetch. Right, where's the graveyard? Here we are. Past this gate is a riding graveyard. I'm going to go on ahead. Meet you there, kiddo. First, left your party. I've been waiting a long time for this. Long time for what, exactly? Right here, here lies ahead. Once you enter, you can no longer return. Yeah. This is a demo. What am I going to miss? Oh, let's save. This despair everlasting, trudging through the darkness weighs on your soul, and yet you continue. It's nice. Saving into the isn't implemented, though. That's pretty. Banging on the other side of the door. Uh, need processor. Okay. Let's continue. Oh, it's you. Hey, uh, I saw Ursa go down there. I just realized I don't have any tape for my camera. Yeah, I'll go get that. Uh, what a coward. Let's go, soulmate. The tower and the way to save Luke lies ahead. We will achieve our goal together, as I once promised. Yeah, you're a freaking schedule. Still don't see a tower, though. Oh! Mountain gurgles and murmurs as you approach it. The dark red liquid slowly trickles from the spout. As the liquid pulls, you feel the urge to jump in. Your eyes begin to glow red. Everything but the fountain fades from view. Just as you begin to reach forward, the liquid vanishes. Alright. Hide in this tree. Walking through trees. Curtains. Oh my god, up there. Probably, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Doors locked tight, a rusted lock adorns the handles. I guess not. Where am I going then? I walk through these. Okay. Gazing into the darkness of the well, the bottom seems to extend further down. Bricks materialize to form an even deeper pit. Perhaps there is no bottom after all. Then appears to slow down, revealing something in a distant dark. 
instinctively look away. Whatever it was you surmised, it wasn't meant to be seen. Spooky. This way. There he is. No, that's a headstone. It's a primordial despair scythe appears to have stood here for a millennia. But, 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 but. Leave it. You're not even in my... Oh, I'm right there. Hey, kiddo. Beyond me lies the tower, and I can't let you reach it. Tell me, kiddo. Please, tell me you won't go to the tower. Looking out over the ancient graveyard, some old advice comes back to you. Take a deep breath and choose to continue. I swore. I swore to never wield again. Forgive me, Todd. System run. Wield despair. This frame is a symbol of my ambition. Unending will I guard souls. Till all complete. This is it, Loon. This is how we save Luke. Assume control of my power, and even a Reaper stands no chance. By the will of the universe itself, unleash my vengeance upon him. Stars shine for you. Assumed control of Cosmos. Brace yourself, kiddo. I knew it. Todd, your fight is with me. Leave the kiddo out of this. He's trying to play the good guy after hitting us so hard? Hilarious. An absorbed cosmos. I just destroyed our cosmos, but I won't be able to do it again. Don't let either of them hit zero. We're gonna need to end this quickly. Build up our cosmos enough to unleash him your ambition. That's the only way to damage these guys. You know, he's using you. You need to eject him. Please, I don't want to hurt you too. It's the you What the frick? You know? What are you doing? Why are you helping him? A Q E W Damn it. You don't know what he is, what he's done. Tell him, just speak to me. I won't suffer more from this traitor. Moon, let us be rid of him. You guard against his tax perfectly and quickly, you will absorb his cosmos. The nifty trick I added. Can't you forgive me, Todd? W Q A S. family or my friends. I swear I'll save both of you. How dare you make me remember where keys are on my keyboard. Todd, I forgive you. I forgive you, you hear me?
Alone I stand, no more. Bloom, I can finally realize my ambition. Kiddo, your soul is merged with his? Fine, let it be merged. I'll just have to reap him out of you. I really suck at this. What does he have on you? What brings you such sadness to resort to this? Let me bear your burdens. I'll shoulder them under my own. My friends, and that includes you, till all complete. E, e, yes. It's okay, kiddo. Do what you must. I'll grit my teeth, do a big smile. that pretty damn perfectly. Goodbye, Ursula. Kiddo. I'll be alright. Hi, Loon. We need his soul to operate the tower. In order to save Luke and return you to him, reap this bear's soul. Fuck you, Todd. You think you're in control here? System run force control. System on active Prada. Past all the stars in the sky, where hereafter becomes infinity. Yeah, I remember, Todd, what you told us. And you'll remember betraying me, Todd's death. I saved you, saved all of you, by myself. People ask, why? Why do we exist? Why do we suffer? Why do we dream? These questions will now go unanswered because of you. Did you get it, Todd? We don't need to know. The universe isn't made for us to understand it. We live. We feel joy and pain. We love and we lose. We die. <coughs> I choose to believe there is more to this silly old universe. I choose to continue. Enough. Goodbye, old friend, and my new enemy. Mr. Run, Reap Soul. Command reconciliation processing. Administrator override, command accepted. Reap Soul process initialized. Hey, you kiddo. Watch over him for me, will you? I must believe. He can yet be saved. Would you look at that? I can't feel my legs. <laughs> That's because they're gone. Don't worry, kiddo. I'll grit my teeth into a big smile. Me. Girls. Wait for me. Till all complete. Reap so complete. <laughs> oh. 
For all those who need it and those who come after, smash through that wall, choose to continue. That was pretty good. Larry Zor. I mean, it could use a little polish. But this isn't just my opinion. I don't design games. I, I don't have the talent for it. I occasionally draw and nowhere near anything that's good. But yeah, pretty good game. You can change the interact thing to a different color. Definitely tone down the music. Um, I can't really find any other faults, honestly. Hello there. How's it going? You must be the Zor dude, Tony Zor. Oh, Larry Zor, creator of Not Only Nine. Despite me having absolutely no idea what I'm doing, I hope you still enjoyed the demo. You did. If you did, please consider supporting the game on Kickstarter. I, I don't think it's on Kickstarter anymore. You can follow it at. If it is, there it is. It should probably go on live on May 1st. Uh, maybe it still is. Oh, that's what. It, oh, okay. Well, there you go. Hold on, let me move. Get this out of the way. Whoops. I'm a professional. There you go. If you guys want to follow it, it's right there. Pause the video if you have to. It would make me really happy for more people to play Not Only Nine and have them experience the rest of the story. I hope it resonates with those who need it. For now, there's still extra secrets in here for you to discover. I may have gone a little crazy while adding some. Please don't judge me too hard. Even if nobody notices it, I still know it's there. I, I caught a few references. See you soon, Wielder. Till all complete. So yeah, that was not only nine. Um, can't really say any more than I already have. Good game. I'm definitely going to wishlist it after this. And see you guys next time.